Aloha, ladies and gentlemen. It's so great to see such a large crowd at today's event. My name is Hisham, and with me I have John and Yasman from Malaysia and Abelard, who is in the Philippines at the moment. So we're going to kick off with a very short promotional video explaining the problem at hand, our solution, and the value proposition that we think our solution brings. So John, if you don't mind, please click play. When you have a child, he becomes your world, your most precious thing, and you would do whatever it takes to protect him. But in a COVID world, viruses can be transmitted at a moment's touch, and you could be the one harming your precious kid, or it could be a friend, a relative, or a neighbor. Despite warnings from international health organizations, opening doors, pressing lift buttons, or even storing your mask when you're not using it are still common practice. How do you ensure that you reduce transmission so you can keep your child and loved one safe? Introducing Protect Kit, a compact all-in-one lifestyle accessory to help you minimize touching the most common public surfaces. It comes with a retractable door hook that you can use to pull open a door, and at its end is a rubber tip which even works on touch screens. There's a mask compartment that you can use to store your mask whenever you're not using it. And comes with a refillable and detachable hand sanitizer spray. There's also a convenient lanyard hook so you can attach your lanyard. And a slot to slide in your ID card. Protect Kit is easy to clean, store, and bring along anywhere you go. With Protect Kit, you're protecting your hands, you're protecting yourself, and ultimately, you're protecting your loved ones. Great video, I must say. So, over video, weeks and weeks say. of so, observation. Over weeks and weeks of observation. Sorry, John and Yasmin, can you mute from your Sorry, end, please? Sorry, John and Yasmin, can you? Sorry about that. Um, so great video, I must say. So over weeks and weeks of observations, netnographic and ethnographic studies, here's our conclusion. There isn't a convenient and practical solution to decrease transmission risk. And this problem was further validated when we did our own quantitative survey. In a sample of 170 respondents, 95% of people say they still touch public services like lift buttons and doors, yet we don't blame them because 56% say that there are no suitable alternatives to using your hands and a further 35% say and, and a further 35% resort to convenient behaviors so i'm i'm going to address the elephant in the room what happens to our product beyond covid-19 well our product transcends beyond covid-19 as a result of new behavioral changes more and more people will have become fastidious germophobes Anthony Fauci himself said we should all never have to shake hands again. And beyond behaviors, there's the simple fact that vaccines will take years to be mobilized and be made available for everyone, especially, especially for young kids and pregnant women. And not only that, a lot of different groups can also benefit from using our product, like those that are immunocompromised. So you've seen the video. And with all that I've said above, Abelard, can you please explain what exactly is our product? Thank you, Sham, for highlighting the problem, and I'll be glad to do that. So our solution to the problem presented is so simple that you might wonder why other people never thought about it. Thanks to that, my team came up with a product that will help us right away in addressing the pressing issue that the whole world is facing right now, and that is the danger of COVID-19 and the very fast changing behaviors of the people trying to live their lives. Our protokit is easy to clean by just using the usual combination of soap and water. It's compact and convenient that you can easily keep it in your pocket, handbags, and lanyard, as it could serve as a ID, ID holder for your company IDs as well. It, is a retract, it has a retractable door hook, a rubber stylus tip for pressing delicate screens such as ATMs or elevator buttons, a compartment to keep your mask safe from microbes while you are eating out or doing a pitch like this. Detachable and refillable hand sanitizers for your convenience and our 
product is currently made of plastic. But moving forward, we are trying to develop a material that is made of copper, of aluminum, and other viable uh, materials. And not to mention that our product is available in lots of colors. We could say that our product is the Swiss knife of the prestigious people with working parents in mind. And with that, talking about working parents, we would like you to meet our persona, Matt and Lisa. And of course, we should never forget about their baby, Annie. They are both working on a customer-facing job, enjoy social media together as it is a channel of their, uh, for, for a channel for them for the news and entertainment. They love baby Annie so much that they became fastidious and protective of their young one, especially during this tough time. With that being said, their willingness to pay for a product is dependent on the well-being and the safety of their family. We were able to validate this persona by a, pr a pricing study that we conducted with 86 respondents, and we found out that the people who are looking after another person or caring after another person has a higher willingness to pay. Being working parents is the highest with RM25, and next those with living with elderly with 19 RM, and lastly, singles with 16 RM. Considering all the data and information gathered, our team positioned ourselves to protect their protector, which are the working parents. And for that, I'll give the floor to John. Thank you very much, Abelard. Um, so looking at the market that we have, we studied, we, we did a study, and Malaysia currently has 33 million people. Um, out of that, the labor force consists of 15.2 million. Working parents is 9.5 million out of the labor force. So that brings us to the market size of 238 million. Um, that is also derived from 9.5 million times 25 ringgit, the price of per unit for our product. How will we reach out to the market? First, we plan to use online and offline channels. We plan to put our products in popular e-commerce platforms, as well as being uh, on ground on, in pharmacy stores. And lastly, having them featured in our own media. And that is Protect Kit website, as well as our social media platforms. Now, in addition, we also plan to work with different companies so that they can customize their product to their brands as well. Next, I'll pass it on to Yasmin. Hi. So we did a business plan projection, which covers uh, three phases of our project. Uh, in this slide, uh, we focus the presentation for phase one, which basically on how to quickly bring 1,000 units to the market. Uh, and based on our economics, we need RM11,000 to move to the next phase uh, with a potential profit margin of 60%. Uh, we are more than happy to elaborate more on our future projection and also our pricing strategy during Q&A. Uh, this is our beloved team. Uh, despite diverse expertise and background, all of us are passionate to ensure that our product can solve users' problem. We would like to end our presentation uh, with the note that we need to quickly get the product to the market. So please join us in our quest to save life. Thank you. We would like to open the discussion for Q&A. Bravo. Yes, if you don't support this product, you don't want to save lives. Who wants to do that? All right, judges, time hi. for question and answer. Lavinia? Hi, hi, hi. No, no thanks for that presentation. OK, uh, I think you need to explain to us properly, step by step, the cost uh, to manufacture this and you know exactly what you said you were going to after. Let's go through that so that we can deep dive and ask further questions. Very great question. Thank you very much. So basically, before we go for the pricing strategy, we would like to explain a bit more on the product costing. So the total material will cost around uh, 7 ringgit 70 cent uh, with 5% of uh, labor. Uh, and then uh, it will total up with our uh, operating expenses to 10 ringgit and 11 cents. So we are targeting a profit margin of 60%. Uh, therefore, uh, price is 25 ringgit. But that's not all, yeah? Let's see how do we arrive to 25. So over here, we have the inside-out approach and outside-in approach. For inside-out approach, is like what we discussed just now, 60% of margin. And for the outside-in approach, where we do competitor analysis. So we are well in the middle, uh, 
for the competitive analysis. But when it comes to willingness to pay survey that we did, especially uh, among the working parents that why uh, Abila showed just now, we are nicely at RM25. I hope I, I, I answered that question. Okay, so you're pricing yourself at 25 ringgit. Uh, and so if you go back to the earlier slide, because I was a little bit confused there, is it 10 or 14? Sorry, right, so your uh, total cost is 10, 10 ringgit and 11 cents. Exactly, exactly. Right, right, right. And um, and then your, your pricing to potential district, are you going through the distribution model? I mean, just now you mentioned that you will put it in various stores, but that's 10 ringgit, 11 cents is your cost. And then you then have to uh, give it to potential distributors or stores. Uh, so then there'll be a wholesale cost there as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so very good question. Uh, that is part of the SGNA. It's already factored inside the SGNA in bulk. Right. Which means your actual cost is eight ringgit and nine cents. That's what you're saying. Exactly. The cost is right, right, uh, right, eight ringgit right. and nine cents. Okay, I was confused with that. Okay. Right. Okay. That answers my question. Um, hi, this is Peter here. A quick question, yeah, team. When you talk about who are my competitors, you you put, um, I think you, you mentioned in your chat, just if you can back it up, you said that rubber gloves and gloves and so on and so forth, right? So it's a behavior change that you want, right? Because for, I, I could just, uh, arm myself with a whole load of um, hand sanitizer. So if I got to press a lift button, after I press it, I'll be like a germaphobe mm -hmm. and and uh, you know wash my hands or sanitize my hands, right? So how 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 um, how would you change the people's behavior um, from you know migrating people from competitors' products um, to to have an all in one? I, I I know I hope you know what I mean. Yeah, because the easy part is I got my my hand sanitizer and bring it everywhere. Isn't that um, helping the situation already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, uh, great question, Peter. Uh, yeah, you are right in that sense, as we shown earlier, uh, uh, the main competitor is the behavior. This is where we really want to understand the target market, which is the working parents. And what we are offering here is the convenience. So, so when you have a very convenient and practical product coupled together where you can store all the important things such as your hand sanitizer together, this is where we want to attract them uh, to join or uh, basically to buy this product. We know that there will be some difficult hard converts. We have to admit that. But over here to start at this nailing stage, we really want to get uh, uh, the product from our base market first, which is uh, the fastidious type. Just um, to... Sorry, can, can I just add something? A quick one, yeah. You you know, in, in my man bag, I always carry a man bag. I've got sanitizer uh, and I've got a little plastic where I put my, my mask in, right? So the difference between my uh, uh, solution as opposed to yours is the hook, right? So um, how, how, how robust is the hook? Have you, uh, because different doors has got different um, requirements yeah, to hook that. So uh, did you test it? I know this is quite um, minute, but have you tested it? Yeah. Thank you very much for the question, Peter. Yes, we have tested it. Actually, we went to the convenience store. We even went to um, like uh, different flat buildings to just to try, even to the bank to try as well. So to answer your question, have we tried it? Yes, indeed, we have. And if we can share later again the video, how the heavy... Uh, uh, door of the convenience store uh, refrigerator. Uh, we can uh, open it. Uh, yeah, single handed. Okay. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't spot that earlier on. Thanks. Yeah. Sorry. In addition Please. to that, Peter, may we also point out the difference of the pro to kit to your man bag. You mentioned that it's inside your bag. For a pro to kit, we want it to be compact and convenient that you can go out without even bringing a bag, because you have everything you need in one pocketable solution or one lanyard. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, this is Alan Lim here. 
Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think Peter should dump his uh, so-called man bag, you know, with all the items inside there. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I, I have a question here. I couldn't wrap my head around uh, this particular question, yeah? Uh, you are launching a, a, a very innovative product, you know, in, in the market. I totally understand that it's, it's more for the COVID right now. But what I would like to know is that uh, uh, when, when, when you have a new product out in the market, you will have to think about that disruption strategy. How are you going to disrupt the market for the market to be able to convert, you know? Uh, to, to in 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 this disruption tech technology, you need a lot of education awareness building, right? Uh, what I would like to know is that uh, what do you have with regards to this particular area? Yeah, I think uh, at this point of time, I think you are totally right. We we totally agree with that. Uh, and we need to somehow understand the disruption so that we can manage it. Uh, at this point in time, we are riding with the change in behavior. And of course, uh, by issuing this 1,000 uh, units quickly to the market, we want to quickly learn and pivot uh, so that we can uh, understand the disruption that may happen. But totally a very valid point. Uh, it's something very crucial for our uh, entrepreneurship journey. Yeah, just to add to that, I think another important point as well is the selection of target audience. We needed to make sure that there are two things. The first, if I may, um, the first, we identified that through um, a, a survey with 170 people because we wanted to know who would be the easy converts. We need to make it as easy for people to convert as possible. And out of this 170 people, we realized that 56% of them are actually they're just making do with whatever that is present. Um, some of them actually do buy uh, existing products that are available in the e-commerce platforms, but find it extremely impractical. So this suggests to us that there is already some sort of like a behavior. Um, and to add to that, when we ran the survey on, or, or rather when we did our study on our target audience, we identified that working parents would be the most likely to jump on board on this. So that helps us to, uh, to move forward when it comes to marketing the product. So ho hope this would answer your question. Um, Shisham, you have anything to add? Yeah, I was just gonna mention that we had, um, the team had a lot of marketing strategies that we could uh, piggyback on. Uh, the use of influencers is the best technique to get, you know, the widespread message that, you know, everyone needs to stop touching public services uh, and amongst other things. So you're saying that education awareness is quite key, right? Absolutely, yeah. Thank you. Well, plus the fact